Alright, what is up guys? Uh, today was wild, for sure. It is December 19th, currently 1.47pm, so the markets are still live. Uh, and we're going to go over the trades we made today uh, in my live trading account and in my TD, uh, TD Ameritrade paper account. <clears throat> so in this account, as you can see, I'm finishing up 187. I'll zoom in for that for people who can't you know if you watched on your phone you might not be able to see it so fin finishing up 187 in profit uh, the $14,000 account is now $325 in the green so super excited about that because I got a little bit of a cushion now uh, let's see I got my OBS on my top screen so and it's a uh, 50 inch TV so you know kind of big anyways so we're going to go over the trades I made. Uh, RAD was looking at that, Rite Aid, this morning. Uh, it was gapping up. Uh, I don't really remember the, the news, but it was gapping up really nice. Uh, I wasn't really planning on trading it, but I mean, it, right out of the gates, it made a pretty good move. So I did wait. I got in literally on the worst candle I could. So I got in on this candle with 400 shares at 1161. And you know it went up, but I was I was hoping it would hit twelve dollars. Uh, I had an order ready to sell half at twelve. Came back down. I got out at one forty two. Uh, and then I started watching other stuff. I wish I would have kept watching this as it like got down here on these lows. And you know it did have this trend line uh, in pre market here that it was on, and it never did come down and test it. And I was kind of watching for that too. So. I did, I think, I put in an order at like 11.04 at one point. I think it was this candle. Uh, and, you know, it came down and touched 11. And as it was coming back up, I was like, well, I'm going to put an order in 11.04. And it never did come back down. And then I think in this candle, as it was going back up, I was like, well, I'm just going to, you know, move on to something else. But uh, anyway, oh, no, 11, this candle, I doubled down. I bought 400 more shares. And then I got scared out on this one <clears throat> as it came down 11.28. That's what happened. Oops. Oh, well. Anyways, 11.28. So I bought 400 here, and I bought 400 here, hoping it was going to come back up. And then when it came back down, I got out right here. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, M-R-I-M. My first trade on this today was a loser. Uh, let's see. 9.45, so 9.45, uh, there's this candle here, let me zoom in a little further so you can see what I was looking at, boom, basically I was, you know, just red to green move is what I was looking for, so I mean it went green just for a little second there. And you know, this is where most of your buying and selling happens, like right at support, right at resistance. Uh, just because, you know, a lot of people like to sell at the top where resistance is so they can go ahead and get out if it breaks down. A lot of people like to buy at resistance in case it breaks and then, you know, you get that big pop up, which happens so often. So I got in at 2372, just, you know, I put in a limit order because I didn't want to mark an order in. So I get filled here. It was that candle. And then, you know, it, it doesn't break. So I got out pretty quick at 23.29. I mean, as fast as this moves, that is, I would consider that pretty quick. And then AXSM. This one is very expensive, but I actually made a little bit of money on it. At 9:48, so let's just zoom in a little better here. 9:48, this candle here. Did I get in? Yep, got in at uh, 100 and point 49, 100 dollars and 49 cent. I got in with 100 shares, <clears throat> and on this pullback here, I got a little nervous, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just hang on to it. I think if it got down to 99, I was like, I'll, I'll get out, but and that would be 150, 150 dollar loss. But it came back, it came up, I sold 25 shares at 102.50. Ooh, 
was. I held pretty good on this one. I was tired of uh, I was tired of selling too early because it's happened so many times this week. So boom, twenty five there. Then I sold the other seventy five at one hundred two twelve, which was uh, definitely the right move at the time. Let's see, it did you know U shape around and go back up and hit one hundred four, but <clears throat> I mean that was over a hundred dollar winner so uh, and then MIRM again now this trade was hilarious and tricky oh, come on son of oh my god there we go so this trade was crazy because let's see well I'm using my phone as a webcam uh, I told the people in the discord I was like alright guys I'm done you know, nothing's really happening. I'm red on both accounts. Well, no, I was actually up $350 on my paper trading account, but I was like down 200 and something on my trading net account. I'm like, I'm done. Nothing's happening. I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm getting out, I'm shutting down. So I turned, you know, I closed both my broker accounts. Uh, my computer was still running. I didn't put it to sleep yet, but my phone goes ding. I was like, whoa, let me look. Uh, MIRM hit a alert that I had set. I think it was at like tw I want to say 24. Like I had an alert at 24 or something. Or I mean it could have been yeah 24 right here. Boom. So I had an alert set. You know if it hits 24 to alert me. Actually I'll tell you what time it was because what time did I buy? I bought at 10:22. That was probably a minute. Yep 10:20. So okay so the alarm goes off here. Thing. I have to open my TradeNet account, which is really quick. It opens very fast. TD Ameritrade, as a lot of you know, takes like 45 seconds every time you open it. So like installing updates. It's like seriously, how often you update? But so I open the TradeNet account and I just decide to pull up TD Ameritrade on my phone and watch the chart there because it's quicker. I can just boom, scan my thumb, and I'm in. So I pull this up. I'm watching the chart on my phone, and I put in an order for 400 shares at 24.86 at 10.22. Boom. 86. Boom. And it dropped all the way down to 24.18. I was down like 400 bucks. And I was a little nervous, but I was like, I'm just going to wait, because the stock does this. It bounces up and down. It's already broke high of day. You know, it's making new highs. The volume increase here was pretty significant. So I was like, I'm just going to hang on to it. And it worked. So it came back up. Uh, I got 400 shares. So I sold half at 25.15, which was pretty early. But I wanted to reduce my risk. And then the other half. Now, this is the hilarious part. So I put in a couple different sell orders and I kept canceling. But. Apparently one of the orders I didn't cancel, and I kept trying to put in, a, and I have two two windows because let's say I bought in right now, and I buy in with 100 shares. For some reason, when it gets filled, this goes to zero. Then you have to retype 100 shares. I don't have that kind of time, so I've already got it over here ready to go. Uh oh, so I have this to set to stay on top. So, anyways, I'm trying to sell this at mm, probably somewhere right in here like 25.50s and it keep, kept saying check your open orders check your open orders I'm like I don't know what that means so I did not <laughs> I mean uh, I don't know I'm trying to think what pay is it this one yes so I had to literally find are you kidding me this I hate this broker, by the way, just to just to let everyone know. Okay, that's the trades. Mm. Trades, orders. Are you kidding me? So I don't have any open orders right now. But see it won't just open and stay like a normal size. Oh, I have to shrink it. Oh, whatever. So I had to find this. 
And then I had to figure out how to open it. And then I had to figure out how to get back to my other screen. Wow, this is just absolutely red. What the fuck is going on? Ugh. See, now this is basically what happened. This is how I was like trading, and I was still in this, this trade. Luckily, it worked out for me because it kept, you know, moving up. When I finally got that order canceled, I came over here and I just had market ordered out wherever I was at, and that was at twenty six forty three. Twenty six forty three. Boom, and then it had that big drop. So I'm glad it worked out. Left me up one hundred and eighty seven dollars in the day. <clears throat> so I've got to figure out a way to not only get this screen up like freaking normal. There we go. Oh my goodness, I did it. Everybody clap for me real quick. So i got to find room to put this up here somewhere so that I can cancel orders if I need to. And then this, you know, I don't need it up all day. Uh, I'll just minimize it and then cover it up with this level 2 or order screen, whatever you want to call it. So I'll make my chart a little smaller. It doesn't have to be full screen. Boom. Whoops. It's always fun setting up your trading uh, platform and stuff. Oh, so I use TD Ameritrade's charting because I can't stand the charts that come with this uh, software. Like, I just absolutely hate it. It's the worst. The ugliest charts I've ever seen. And I can manipulate this one much quicker. You know, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Zoom in, bam. The other one, you can't do that. But anyway, so that was my trading on uh, the TradeNet account. Now I'm going to pull over my main account. Close this full screen grab this zoom in again boom so you can see $335 oh. and then we're going to use the big chart We'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay. Now let's go see what I traded here. R E G I oops was the first one I traded. Mm, down fifty-five dollars. Oh, you know what? We'll just use the show trades. Boom, boom. So this one, uh, I think it made a good move, yeah, yesterday, you know, from, well, you know, one dollar, but I still had it in a watch just to see if it was going to do anything. I didn't get as much as I wanted, but, so I got in 500 shares at 25.31, right here, and selling at 25.28, so lost like three or four pennies. And if I'd have held on, you know, it, it would have worked out and I would have made, you know, maybe a couple hundred bucks. But, you know, it is what it is. I was also, at the time, getting into another trade on, on the TradeNet account. But I'm not going to go back and forth. Uh, the next trade, HSDT. I can't remember why we was watching this so closely. But it uh, pre market, you know, it gapped all the way up to 95 cents. I think it had like the best news on the day. And I was telling people, watch out because at a dollar is where the 50 moving average is, which now it's 49, 46 cents. It was like 98 or 99 cents earlier. Let's go back to a one minute. So it was U shaping around. You know, I thought I was going to do more of a red to green move. Uh, got in with 6,000 shares at 72. 
No, the top. So I got in at the very, very top and sold the 6000 at $0.67, cent, which it did come up U-shape and then moved back up, but by that time I was already into something else. So down 300 on that one. CBIO. CBIO. Okay, I was about to say, where's the trade? So I got in uh, 3,000 shares on, I was hoping, you know, we get more of like a bounce here. Uh, but it kind of consolidated and it then made its move back up. But I just got in with 3,000 shares at 624, selling at 621, all in the same candle. So 90 bucks there. So I mean, nothing was really just moving where I, you know, wanted it to move. EDSA. Now this is the one I made. Oh, so this one was kind of EDSA. Honestly, there probably wasn't even enough volume for this to actually go through because I market ordered in 3,000 shares at 448. Okay, where the line is. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking over here at the numbers. So anyways, market ordered in 3,000 shares here and market ordered out during this candle. I honestly thought it was gonna get halted, but it didn't. So I just market ordered out and all of them got filled at 474. In real life though, because this has such low volume, so you can look over here in the corner when I'm hovering over this candle, you can see 20, or yeah, 20, basically 2,400 shares. I market ordered in with 3,000, so I mean, this market order would have caused it to shoot up and fill all the orders on the ask. And then when I market ordered out 3,000 shares, it would have filled a bunch of orders on the bid. So market ordering in, it would have been like pop, 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 pop. And then market ordering out, it would have been like pop, 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 pop. So, I mean, this technically, I guess, shouldn't count, but I mean, that's the thing about paper trading with the simulator with TD Ameritrade. They don't account for like the order volume. All they care about is, is, you know, there enough, actually, I don't know. I don't know how it, how it works. I can't figure it out, but the order went through, whatever. I'm going to count it. I'm going to leave it there. But, I mean, it just popped up, got halted here. Uh, okay, let me zoom back in. Or, let me go back over here. So, it pop up, pops up here and gets halted on 300 shares of volume. Look down here. 300 shares. This was only 3,500 shares and then 300 shares and gets halted for 10 minutes and then it comes out of the halt and that's when I hit the mark order button and pops up here. I thought it was going to get halted but it didn't. I just went ahead and sold and then it came straight back down. But And that's it for today. Like I said, finishing up $335. Now I've got my trader view statistics here. I'll go over real quick while I've got it up. kind of fill the screen so you don't have to see all that crap in the back boom all right I'm kind of in the way there but yeah you'll be all right uh, today well no let's just go look at the calendar so yesterday I had the $1,400 loss today finishing up 335 uh, you know it's not that bad I'm still up really good on the month let's look at this you can come down so this is November, uh, $9,388 in profit. So far in December, I'm up $7,800. Uh, I was up, you know, like $8,500 or something before that $1,400 loss. So I was right behind November. I don't know if we're going to beat November now because, you know, today it was slow. We still got Thursday and Friday. Then next week we have a, a full day off and a half day off. And then the week after that we got a full day off and a half day off. So... I don't know. It just we'll see how the volume reacts in the market, uh, especially you know with like the holidays coming up and stuff. It seems to be slowing down, but it also could have been because of the impeachment, uh, all that news and stuff going on. So I don't know. Uh, total gains so far seventeen thousand one hundred eighty-eight uh, in my paper account. Um, my winning is still right there at like fifty-three percent. Average winning trade, 551. Average daily gain, 491. That is awesome. If I could do that in real life, I, that would that's like my goal. If I can make right at 500 a day in real life, 
I'll be set for the rest of my life. You know, I don't have to be rich. I don't have to be a millionaire or a multi-millionaire. Actually, if I made this much a day over the course of like three to five years, I would start investing in real estate. Uh, and then maybe one day I'd be a millionaire. Who knows? Oh, that's the goal. It's the dream. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, trying to think, is there anything else? Nice little uptrend. Had that massive pullback here uh, on December third. Little, you know, up and down, then massive, massive, massive. You know, still keep moving up. That's all that really matters. Uh, this thing, you know, it's the big drawdown day. Had a little red day here, a little red day here. So, yeah, that's it. That's, just, you know, that's it for today. That's all I've got for you. Nothing crazy. Look at the SPY real quick. Let's see what's going on with it because. Oh, wow. Way up here. Let's see if that's a new record high today. It is. Today. That's the highest the SPY has ever been. Actually, at this very moment. Right now, you're watching history right here. Of course, you know, it'll be history again you know maybe tomorrow or the next day or the day after but 320.85 just keeps on moving let's see let's go see what TVIX is up to it did a reverse split and I think they put it up you know, like 70 Oof, look at all those trades. I lost a lot of money on all that. Let me turn that off. Oh, uh, so when they did the reverse split, I don't know. They, it popped back up to like 70 something, but the charts readjusted since. I don't really know. But now it's down to $50. Tell you what, if the SBI starts to crash, this is where I'm going. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow to try to make some more money. Thanks for watching.